So here's a unit I've PM'd many times. This is the upstairs unit. They have a downstairs heat pump also. This one is two tons. The downstairs one is four tons. I think it's four tons. It might be three and a half. We'll confirm that. But this unit very seldom gets used. It's a large home, but it's a husband and wife near retirement age. So they're empty nesters. I know this coil is going to be clean. Yeah, it's pretty clean. We're just going to start it in air conditioning. Check some stuff, make sure it's running good, and pour some water in this drain. It's dry, that trap looks dry. Yep, dry as a bone. All right, and with the unit opened up, we're just gonna check everything. We're gonna make sure this blower wheel doesn't have any excessive dust on it. Good. I'm gonna make sure we don't have any burn up wires or anything. Looking good. Let's just double check this coil now that we've gotten cover off. Pan looks clean. Coil looks clean. This return duck, I've noticed this before, is a little crooked. It's like the weight of the flex. Is pulling it down. You know what? They might have actually done it like that when they changed this unit out years ago because they couldn't fit it in there. You see how it's rammed up against those ceiling joists? So that's causing it to kind of pop out down here. But that's mainly more just cosmetics so yeah looking good i don't see any oil on the coil at all so let's go ahead and get some water and flush this drain out faster than that because we want a good a good really fast whoosh of water going down there to try to get out any anything that's in there Also a vent someone's put over there for it. So that's good. But yeah, there we go. Drain is flushed. Someone this clean, I don't usually um, blow out. I'll run some water in there if it takes it away good. Don't worry about blowing it out. All right, and also with a coil this clean, Really no sense in putting any coil cleaner on it. You're just wasting your coil cleaner at that point. It's not it's not dirty at all. Alright, we're gonna put the panels back on. We're gonna start this thing up. Um, get some amp draws and some temp splits. Alright. Our amp draw and our blower now. 1.01. We just have the panel placed in front of the hole. So we, uh, we can get a more accurate amp draw because if we remove this, see if that goes way down. And some ECM motors, that'll even go in half. 
make sure you can plug that up as much as possible. I know some of you fancy guys got um, got Bluetooth meters, and they're nice, you know. But this is the way I do it. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna record that. We're gonna put the panel back on properly, and we're gonna get a temp split. All right, looks like we got us a. <clears throat> so glary but got us a 21 degree split 46 supply 67 return this thing's running good all right around here to the outdoor unit now we're gonna also check make sure we have no burnt wires we have the power disconnected and we want to make sure there's no burnt wires Check our contactor for any charring. Make sure everything's good and tight. And then next we'll check our capacitor, right? Between Herm and Common on our 40 plus five jarred capacitor, we have 40, which that's good. Now we'll just check between Common and Fan. 4.93 that's also good all right all right now we're going to check the ohm resistance of the coil of our one and a half pole contactor or one pole whatever you guys want to call them and it's 15.9 which is which is normal for a one and a half pole contactor all right, what i did while i was upstairs was i switched the thermostat to fan and that way I don't have to run back up there to turn the thermostat on. The fan is on. Now I'll just jump between R and Y and that'll have our, that'll bring on our compressor. All right, we are running. We're gonna switch our meter back over to voltage and amps. Let's grab the fan motor, 0.62 and the compressor. other side of our fan 0.48 and then the other side of our compressor which will be right here 3.9 okay good all right just checking our charge here with our probes it might be a skosh low like i said it's cooler today this is my outdoor temperature 51 degrees and it's about 65 in the house Subcooling's at five. Data plate says twelve. So we could be a skosh low. I don't want to start putting refrigerant in this thing on a day like today. But we will record that and um, mention to the customer we might be a skosh low. Now, after we got our refrigerant readings, then we'll clean our coil uh, because we don't want a sopping wet coil while we're, while we're checking our charge. So um, after we get all our readings, get everything done, unless this was like a really, really filthy coil, then you would want to clean it before you take your readings, but um, your readings would be way off while you're checking it with a wet coil. Now that we got all our readings and everything like that, now we'll clean the unit up. So we got some some pine shats inside the unit. We want to make sure we get all that out. Because if not, that will eventually turn to mulch and tear the unit up. Or tear the base pan of the unit up. So we'll get all that cleaned out and then we'll start cleaning the condenser. All right, we got most of the big stuff out of there. Use the shop vac to get most of it out. All right, now we'll wash it. All right, we're going out, uh, inside out. Make sure you spray it from the inside first to blow anything that's inside. We want it going back out, not deeper into the unit. It's going to rinse to start off. We're going to use the 
maximum strength venom pack condenser cleaner by viper today and we're going to mix it in our our coil gun here um <laughs> refrigeration technologies has not sent me a new um uh, coil sprayer yet so i'm still using new cow guns but hopefully they'll send me one soon but we are going to use this we got it mixed up in here in our foam gun let's get clean Too. All right, here it is good and clean we have like one solid bubble going all the way around here it's pretty funny but we'll let that sit for a couple minutes and we'll rinse it off it all good and rinsed still got a little bit of soap in the base pan which it's, you're not going to get all that out that'll dissipate but there we go this one's done we'll put it back together